What's going on guys? My name's Justin and this right here is my custom 1987 Ford Bronco. Check, check, check it out. So guys, I figured I'd start off our new channel. I figured I'd go uh, off of the video of my very first truck I've ever owned and the very first over I've ever done. We got this truck in 2015 off my uncle Jimmy and um, I redid it in high school. Uh, I went to Maple Career Center for auto collision and redid the whole thing. Uh, brand new fenders, doors are off a uh, uh, mint 92 F-150. I did some patches in the back, got rid of all the rust, new tailgate, all new panels all the way around. Um, we'll come here to the front and these headlights, these headlights I built myself. I got the I got the actual housing and everything off of eBay. Some cheap Chinese guy was making them whatnot and selling them. So, so I bought them. I ripped them apart. Put this LED pod in here. Got the color changing halos on it. Turned out real great. They're they're bright enough, but people aren't flashing me, so they're not illegal ish. <laughs> um, for the grill, it's a 2014 F-150 grill. I had to I had to custom fab. I had to trim it down on the sides. I had to make brackets to bolt up. I got a couple studs coming off the core support to bolt it up top. It's real sturdy in there. Uh, this emblem, this is the first time I ever did an emblem. I looked up on YouTube. I pulled it apart. I painted it. Went back together. Great. I mean, I'm I'm stoked on how it came out. Um, this bumper here, this bumper was actually off of my dad's '79 Bronco. It was one of his old rear bumpers, and I decided I kind of wanted a front. He was going a different route with the roll pan, so. ISI will put it up here. I liked it so we trimmed it down to fit the to fit the sides real nice, fabbed up brackets and on it went. I sent it to Line X and uh looks great. It actually matches matches a cap. Um I decided to go with the black on it. I decided to wrap the line in it. Super durable. I love it. I haven't had any chips in it yet or anything. I also did it when I was in high school and I'm super happy with it. I haven't had any problems with it yet. If we go to the back. If we go to the back, we won't look at that little rust spot there. Just come on over here. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. The back, I decided to go with the roll pan. Just a nice, nice sleek look. Tinted tail lights. It looks real good back here. Featuring the bad thing plate. Decided to, I don't got a name for it, but I decided to go with bad thing. Um, now this red, this red is actually a Chevy color. I used to work at a, uh, at a Chevy dealership. And I seen this on a bunch of Silverados and a couple of other SUVs. And I originally wanted to do the ruby red, but it was so expensive. It was a trike. It was like $1,700. And I was only a junior working part-time. Like, yeah, that's not going to fly. So I decided to go with this. It's just a, a two-step paint. It was just base clear instead of the tri-coat. So it's the closest thing I could find to the ruby red that Ford makes. But I'm still super happy with it. Nobody knows it's a Chevy color until I tell them. But it's rolling on a six-inch lift. It's got a six-inch super lift on it. And it is on some 37, 13, 50, 20s. Got some 20 by 12 fuel Mavericks on there. And the lift, the lift is actually a pretty cool story. My dad had a uh, 94 F-150 when I was a kid. That was years ago. He ended up getting rid of it. I was beyond bummed. I loved the thing. It had a nice six inch lift. It was red, kind of like this. And well, years later, three or four years ago, we got a hold of the guy. He actually straight, straight axle swapped it. And this lift is actually off of my childhood dream truck my dad's 94 f-150 so got some sentimental value to it this whole lift up front is all off my dad's old truck that i dreamed about so that part's pretty cool um you see this is all nice painted under here it's not powder coat i painted everything under here the tie rods the shocks the coils the radius arm the drive shaft under there everything's painted i painted it all nothing is powdered on here and not a single rock chip yet so i'm super happy with that pretty durable i put three coats of clear on it so it'd be nice and durable under there. And the frame, you see how shiny it is. That is literally just wire wheel brush. And I prepped it all real good. I spray painted it and used actual car clear on it like I do out of my guns. And it looks great. I'm super happy with that too. I got to do from, I got to do from here back on the whole frame and suspension in the rear. But, you know, it's still a work in progress. But um, the rock lights under here. That's actually my, one of my first sponsors. Um, I got 16 Glow Pro LED lights under there. They're all pure white, and they light the road up. They are fantastic. I'd recommend them to anybody. And if you look in here, got some drilled inside of road. There's from R1 Concepts. That's actually my second sponsor. 
they hooked me up and got this thing stopping on a dime in there. Looks real good in there too. Now the exhaust, it's true dual. I ended up going to a custom exhaust shop and ended up getting duals on both sides, dumping here in front of the tire. It's got a couple of Flowmaster Super 40s on it. Now inside, nothing crazy. I just got I just got a new black carpet front and rear. I got some pro car racing seats in there. And then if you look in the back, it's all new too. I ain't got any seat back there because you know you don't gotta have that we don't have any friends. But no big deal. <laughs> nice phone ringing. <laughs> Whoopsie. But let's start this thing up for you and see how loud it is. It's got mild cam in it. It's got a 351 Windsor in it with a C6 to it. it sounds pretty good. guys as promised here's a walk around of the bronco at night with the rock lights on like i said i got 16 total under there i got three in each wheel well and four under the middle um i want to get one more in the very front on the front axle showing the tie rods all painted here in the middle tiny little dark spot right there but one more rock light in the front will be perfect for what i want but other than that that basically covers it all um if you guys want to see some more content of my bronco my dad wild ruckus and my girlfriend bailey the purple one I just recently painted. Like and subscribe, and you guys will see all that and some more. So hope you guys like it, and stay tuned.